I moved out from California to, uh, to Maryland. My wife's family's from the area. I started looking at franchises. And it became pretty apparent really quick that my path was gonna take me to Kona. I, I tell people, they ask me, they, do you love your job? And I absolutely love my job. I love my job. Well, my name's Pam Finley. I'm the executive director of Wellness House of Annapolis. I'm also a cancer survivor. Our programs uh, fill the gap between the medical and the non-medical. And all our services are free. We have counseling. We have group counseling. We have support groups. We just expanded to five support groups. We have eight volunteer therapists who come in to talk to people one-on-one. -on -one. When you're able to reduce the stress of the diagnosis, of the surgery, and even of the survival, you have a much better chance to recover your health and well-being. Tina Allen had called me and said, you know, I'm, I volunteer at this house, and it's called the Wellness House, and you know, we do these groups um, and camps and things with kids, and would you be willing to come to the, to the house um, with the Kona truck? And I said, absolutely. And I knew, I knew about the house, and I knew what they were doing there, and um, I had lost um, I had lost my father to cancer. My dad died when I was about 24 years old. He had gotten cancer when I was in high school. So I knew that these kids had a long road ahead of them. I spent the day getting my truck ready. I wanted it to be perfect that day. I wanted my trip to be special to these kids. And I, I wanted it to be special to me because it was gonna be part of a, a healing process for myself. And I knew I had to be strong. And I couldn't show these kids that I, I, um, I couldn't show the emotions that I was feeling. And um, so it was a, it was a very, it was a, it was a difficult day to put it mildly. I showed up at the, at the house and the kids, they came running out and they all had smiles on their faces. And I, I served the kids up and I, I don't think I've ever been so happy doing something. We're gonna serve over a thousand individuals this year. Um, everything's free, people come for all kinds of reasons. It's people like Chris that keep us alive in the community. When I see the kids there and they're laughing and playing and, and I know for at least a time they're not dealing with the thoughts of their parents being affected by cancer. And I've told the Wellness House after our first visit, I said, I want you to call me anytime you need a treat and I, I will be there. I will serve them at no charge, anytime, anywhere. Uh, the Wellness House to me has been just an absolute joy to be a part of. And I, I look forward to a lot of time spent with those kids.